Hello, hi there everyone. I'm doing today this video on my products. FYI, my hair right now is like second or third day and it's like 85% wet still, it's a little damp. I'm sorry that I'm looking over here because I have a new camera and uh, a new editing system. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you should know. But uh, it's hard to look at the lens at you guys right here. Instead of looking at the actual uh, screen that I have over here because I'm not, I'm looking at myself and I should be looking at the lens over here. So I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to get used to it. Um, yeah, so I wanted to let you guys know some of the things that I have been doing that you guys should know before I actually show you my products. And one of them being is that I don't use shampoo. I do the no shampoo method and I recommend if you guys do want to try this, I've said this to a couple of people in comments re responding back. You guys do want to try it, look up this book and buy it. It's not expensive at all. It's like no more than $12. This is the Curly Girl Second Expanded Second Edition by Lorraine Massey. And after going to the Divashon Salon and getting my cut, they taught me so much and that's why I pur purchased this book. And I go by a lot of things in this book. Not everything, but a lot of things. And I really love it. And I see the difference in my hair and I absolutely I'm obsessed and love my hair like crazy. Uh, I can't even stress it enough like how much I love my hair, how obsessed I am with it. So yeah, I just recommend this book to everyone. I, a lot of the things I'm going to talk about and show you guys today is in this book, so yeah. So basically, I don't use shampoo ever. I don't use uh, heat in my hair ever. I use a microfiber towel or a old t-shirt, it, microfiber towel and a t-shirt. I sleep on a satin pillowcase because it's much more gentle, it doesn't rip your hair. It, my hair, like if I were to go to sleep right now on a satin pillowcase, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. So I also finger detangle, so that means I don't use combs, brushes or anything. I also learned that from the Diva Shawn Salon and it um, says it also. <laughs> In this book, when I went to the Diva Shawn Salon, it's kind of like an eye-opener to how to style your hair. I personally did not 100% like the way they styled my hair completely. But, um, I'm sorry, I was looking at my son. Uh, but, well, because they, it was very proper and very neat. And I kind of like it to look the way it is now. A little more separated, but still chunky curls like this. And that's sort of what the finger detangling does and over time it just looks a million times better it looks like little um curling irons that you just took and did your whole hair with the curling iron but obviously i don't use heat in my hair so i did not do that um and you guys will see in my routine when i do upload it and actually film it uh but yeah finger detangling is amazing it's just better over time i'll probably go into more detail in a separate video uh, but I just love it and I've been doing it for a few months. My cleansing products. First thing I'm going to show you guys is the WEN Sweet Almond Mint uh, Cleansing Conditioner. And this is the one that I first started with in January, but I wasn't completely, the, completely in the no shampoo phase yet. I was not phase. I don't know why I said that word. Anyway, I got this for free at an event that I went to in January, so... I tried it out it's amazing I love it but I only use it right now because I still have some of it left and I'm just waiting for it to just be over with and I probably won't buy this again because I now use uh, Diva Curl no poo and Diva Curl one condition so this is my cleanser and this is my conditioner and I don't use the cleanser as an as every time I do a wash and go I use it once in a while, like maybe once every two weeks maybe, I don't know. If I feel like I need a little extra cleansing, I use this. If I feel like my hair doesn't really need a cleanser, I just stick with my um, conditioner and work it into my scalp, detangle, and move on. I started off with the Diva Curl products, purchasing the one condition in a small bottle like this one at the actual salon. And I absolutely loved it. So that's why I purchased this huge one at Ricky's. And FYI, if you guys get this at Ricky's right now, I hope it's still going on by the time this video is uploaded. Uh, if you guys get this right now at Ricky's NYC, I'll put the link down below. 
you will get a free no poo along with it. So this is like 40 bucks and this is $18 by itself. So if you get it together, you'll get both, both of these for 40. So that's the special I got at Ricky's. For those of you who follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know that I posted a picture of this right here. And this is Carol's daughter, Rosemary Mint Clarifying Shampoo. I bought this and now I am at the mentality that I'm not going to use it. It's shampoo and I know that I told you guys that I'm in the no shampoo, uh, uh, what do you call it, method, whatever. And uh, I bought this with the mentality of thinking, okay, summer is coming. I may want to clarify at least once. And within this seven month period, period of me um, going natural and not using shampoo, I've clarified no more than two times. And, but I didn't do it with, one of them I didn't do with shampoo, the other one I did, and that was a few months ago. So I bought this actually for nothing, and I can't return it anymore because I wanted to smell it, and I took the little thing that was on there off, and you can't return it once you take the thing on top off. And I wanted to smell it, and I haven't used it. Look, it's full, all the way to the top, and I have not used it at all. So I'm just going to keep it around, maybe to use it as a clarifier on my son's hair, because I do use a ton of products on him. Um, I don't use silicone and sulfates or parabens and all those bad things on his hair or my hair, which I probably won't need to clarify, but he is a child. He does get like gunk in his hair sometimes, so I may, may, may keep it around to use it on him. I haven't used it at all and I don't plan on using it on myself. As for clarifying, I'm going to go with a more natural way to clarify, which is baking soda. I've been using baking soda for a long time on my body, on my face, everywhere. So for everything, I use baking soda for my teeth. Um, so you can clarify with baking soda and just water and rub it into your scalp and it will remove a lot more oil. And you won't need to use shampoo if you also want to do the no shampoo method with me. After cleansing from here on, I apply cold water to my hair just plain cold water and that seals the shine it prevents frizz I wash my hair with uh, warm water when using my products here but I the last water is always freezing cold and I also learned that from the book and Diva Sean well I don't know if it's in the book but I learned that from the salon um, now moving on to my styling products. As for my styling products, the first thing I go for with drenched and wet hair, I don't um, apply products on dry hair, I apply it on drenched, wet, dripping hair. I go for uh, this Shea Moisture Organic Yucca and Aloe Thickening Growth Milk and this has biotin and bamboo extracts. All these products I'm showing you guys are natural and um, they're amazing for your hair. I stick with uh, natural products. So this is meant for thin and fine hair and it's supposed to thicken, volumize, and soften. I use it just as a leave-in. This is a leave-in. I use it just as a leave-in and because it has biotin and bamboo extract and that's really good for your hair. And it has yucca, which I've never heard of a product actually having yucca in it. But hey, I like it. I like the way it feels. I like what it does to my hair. So that's the first product I go for. Then from there, I apply my curl enhancing smoothie. Sorry about all the noise going on. Uh, my curl enhancing smoothie, coconut and hibiscus from Shea Moisture. And this is for thick curly hair. So the combination of these two is amazing. So I haven't even seen anyone actually combine these two together ever. And I just wanted to try it out. I like both of the products and it works amazing for me. It's a really thick product. I use a chunk of this and I applied um, after applying this one. It smells so good. This has coconut oil, hibiscus, and it has uh, silk protein and neem oil. I seal my hair with aloe vera mainly in the scalp, well everywhere actually, but I focus it more on the scalp. I'm sorry that I keep looking over here. Alba, look over here. So I apply this uh, aloe vera, pure aloe vera by Aubrey Organics and everywhere in my hair and this is actually something that you need to refrigerate in your refrigerator so I love that because of the fact that I use cold water as the last water to seal my hair and uh, prevent frizz this does the job also for preventing frizz because you have to refrigerate it. I refrigerate it so uh, I used to use a different one from Whole Foods and I stopped using that one because it was it was a different consistency than this one this one's much more light 
Um, so, and this one's actually like two bucks cheaper than the Whole Foods one, I think. So anyway, I switched to this one recently and I love that you have to refrigerate it, so I'm sticking with this one now. And on my ends, I sometimes apply some jojoba oil if it needs it. Not all the time. If it needs it, on my, on my ends, my hair loves oil, so. Or if my hair is extra dry, or if I've just clarified it, which it will need a little bit of oil, especially on the ends, because the ends is the last uh, hair. It's the last hair that has grown out of your head, if that makes any sense. It's the oldest hair on your head. There you go. This here, I'm almost done with it. Um, this here is uh, olive oil and sweet almond oil together, which I will have to refill soon as well as for this one. As for deep conditioning, this is probably the only product that I still use since December when I posted that heat damage video and I will still continue to use. And this is, this is coconut oil. I'm almost done with it. This is like my second um, bottle. I don't want to spill it. Yeah, this is coconut oil. I love the smell. I love what it does to my hair. Nothing works as well as coconut oil. And one combination that I discovered is using coconut oil with a mask. You don't have to use this one. Uh, this is the Bumble and Bumble Ca um, Curl Cautious Nourishing Mask for all curls. I absolutely love this. Oh, this is really cool. Look, you just twist it and squeeze. And then you twist it to close it. Uh, yeah, so these two combined for deep conditioning is amazing. Mask and coconut oil. This is the second product that I still use. And this is Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter. And I've had this since December and I still use it because you don't need a lot of it. So I'm glad that I purchased this small one because it, it, there's also a big one available. And this has uh, beeswax. So I only use this for up -throughs towards mainly the front of my hair. And it's great. It's like a really good hydrant. I'm probably, I've been doing a lot of up -throughs with like buns and, and things like that. And I don't know why I didn't show this in my bun tutorial my my messy bun and all of that but i should have i don't know why i didn't show it and this is a protective cream hair dress so being that i don't use shampoo in my hair i have to stay away from certain um ingredients so i am like a freak in the store reading for like an hour all all of the ingredients on an actual product so i try to stay away from silicone um parabens sulfates uh alcohol uh there's so many others that I just can't remember right now but there's you kind of have a more understanding when you do that and you look up products and you google it that's why we have google um, you can google things and find things out and do your own research and see what you want and what you don't want for your hair and being that I don't use shampoo I have to prevent buildup because that will just make my hair all nasty and gooky and it won't make it clean. So I mainly try to stick with things that are more uh, natural to your hair, kind of like uh, botanical conditioners, I think that's what they call them. So it's not really about it saying it's organic and it's natural and it's 99 or 98% this and this and that. Uh, no, it's more about you reading the ingredients and because not everything that says it's organic is organic completely. It just means sometimes that it has organic ingredients in them, but it also has bad ingredients that are just combined all together. So just do your research and learn about it. And um, I stick with botanical. Um, I learned about botanical conditioners and botanical products. Many, no. So I'm sticking with the botanical um, products because they are more plant derived. They get their stuff from like plants. So uh, it's more like um, sweet almond oil, uh, mint, um, you know, like coconut oil, jojoba oil, uh, aloe, things like that. So there's so many things that are good for your hair, but these are just some of them and I don't know all of them. So as I'm reading these ingredients and all these products, I kind of have more of an understanding of what I know about, what I don't know about, what I have seen in my good products and what I haven't seen before. So yeah, just learn about it. That's like the best advice I can give you guys. Next video will be my hair routine. I will have so many more videos now with my new camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. So. Bye guys. In the shower or styling my hair. If you guys heard that, my fun my son just farted. Oh my gosh.